Hi, my name is Sean Gray from StageFightFreedom.com. In this video today, I'm going to show you a simple technique that has the power to create a dramatic change in your life. The technique is called tapping, EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. I'm a performance coach and I specialize in helping athletes, musicians and performers deal with the emotional pressure of competition, self-doubt, anxiety, the destructive voice of the inner critic, Physical symptoms might be feeling sick, muscles tense, tight, not able to focus. Perhaps you try conventional ways of helping, deep breathing, visualization, positive affirmations, maybe even more practice, and still the nerves are jangling. What do you do next? This is where I can help. EFT is a remarkably new energy therapy that can erase negative thinking, self-doubt anxiety, change limiting beliefs, often. In minutes. There is a downside to EFT, it just looks a bit odd. So if you want to be finally free from all those years of the subconscious programming running your life, let's get started. How does it work? What are the mechanics of EFT? What you do, which is perhaps a little unusual, is you focus on negative emotion and then using your index finger and middle finger, you tap on the body's energy system to lower, often erase, that negative emotion. Let's use an example of a musician going for a cycle. Thinking of that recital now, what comes up? What are the fears? Quite common, fear of failure. Fear of letting yourself down, others down. Fear of being judged. Pick on one, maybe fear of failure. Which one's the strongest? Scale it from zero to 10. Obviously eight or nine being quite high, negative emotion, just the idea of going up for that recital. Now we're going to tap on the body's energy system and look to lower it. So if you follow me. So, two fingers. Light tapping about five or seven times. Focus on the negative. Fear of failure. Inside of the eye. A bony bit. Five, six, seven. Outside of the eye. Fear of failure. Underneath the eye. Fear of failure. Underneath the nose. Fear of failure. The chin. Fear of failure. Now for the collarbone point, come down, it's got a V as a point, come down an inch, cross an inch, doesn't matter what side. This one I use the flat of, my, flat of the hand. Fear of failure. Underneath the arm, come down four inches from the armpit, fear of failure. Karate chop it, fear of failure. What you normally do is maybe go around that twice. Take a deep breath. Right, let's scale it again. Think back, let's test it. Think of that recital. How does it feel now? Was it an 8 or a 9? Hopefully it's dropped. What is it? 6, 7? Might be even lower. Alright, let's say it's a 6 or 7. This is like talking to subconscious. So we're going to tap, tap again, but we're going to say, remind ourselves, still, still have the fear. Still have the fear. Fear of failure. Inside of the eye. Still have the fear. Outside of the eye. Still have the fear. Underneath the eye. Still have the fear. The nose. Still have the fear. The chin. Still have the fear. <coughs> Flat of the hand. The collarbone. Still have the fear. Under the arm. Still have the fear. Karate chop. Still have the fear. Maybe go around another time. Deep breath. Let's test it again. Hopefully it's dropped again. Below five. Maybe even lower. Let's say it's dropped below, below five. Now we're going to put in a positive affirmation. We've cleared the negative, making room for the positive to take hold. How would you like to play? I'd like to be calm, focused, trust myself. We're going to use I choose. I choose is like the genie at the lamp. It helps you play like you'd like to. So, I choose. Choose to be calm. Choose to be calm. Choose to be calm. Focused. Trust myself. Choose to be calm. Choose to be calm. Focused. Relaxed. Again, you can go around another time. Take a deep breath. How does that feel? Hopefully, you feel a lot calmer, more confident, and when you go and do your recital, you'll be able to enjoy it a little more. This is an introduction to EFT. It's my shortcut version. There's obviously a lot more that can be done. So if you'd like to be able to take a look at 
how good you could be, just get in touch. Thanks for listening. Sean Gray, StageFrightFreedom.com